hi guys and welcome back to my channel i'm eki today's video is how to avoid cakey foundation or makeup so i'll be giving you tips and tricks if it sounds like something you want to watch then stay tuned while we get right into this video so guys in this video i'll be showing you the tips and tricks on how to avoid cakey foundation or makeup i've cleansed and toned my skin the next thing i'll be doing is to use the moisturizer from avino no matter your skin type you really need to moisturize your skin because your skin needs all the liquid all the moisture possible for your skin to be balanced when you apply your makeup do not apply your foundation on a skin that is not moisturized no matter your skin type oily combination or dry skin you need to moisturize your skin i'm going to go into this primer from Rimmel Stay Matte. The second problem you might be having is not letting your skincare products sink into your skin by letting it dry down. If you're layering products upon products, you might have a cakey foundation at the end of the day. So whenever I apply any product, I let that dry down. If you're in a haste, you can use your hand fan and fan that down so that whatever you're applying next, it will just sink as well not sitting on top of the first product that you had or you applied on your skin next is foundation you need to know the type of foundation you need for your skin type pardon me guys i didn't know that it wasn't recording so i used this blending brush from vicabel in nk14 so you want to use a brush to spread the foundation on your skin before you use your beauty sponge don't go into your beauty sponge straight up and begin to blend your foundation out so the first foundation i used was the novan beauty in w in w6 which is this now another tips especially if you are oily skin try not to use an illuminous foundation so if you are on the oily side use a mattifying foundation that will just hold the oil even when you're doing your skin prep for your makeup try to use something that will control the oil for you and do not apply too much foundation at a time so i'm going to go into that beauty sponge i spread that on the brush um sorry i spread that on the beauty sponge because i don't want to go in straight with a clean beauty sponge if not it's going to make my foundation separate you need to tap with a very light hand guys so this has dried down a little on my skin and if you're looking for a full coverage you also need to do this step because when it dries down a bit it will give you that full coverage or it covers those imperfections that you're trying to cover on your skin so you see how this side of my cheek is looking already use a light hand in tapping it i am combination skin i get oily only around my t-zone the other areas remains normal so i really do not have issue on this other side so this is the side that if my makeup wants to start breaking it starts from this area so that's the reason why I concentrated my primer on my T-zone because I know that that is my problem area. I take my time. Sometimes I take up to 10 minutes max to blend just foundation. So sometimes we blend foundation here on YouTube like in the next two minutes you're done that is not what is happening in real life because we don't want to keep you watching a particular process for us for so long that is why we you know we move it forward right if it's on a matured skin you need to take even more time to blend because on a matured skin you won't see so much smooth areas that you just put your foundation and you start blending there are places that you need to take your time to pack that foundation into the skin if not it's not it's not gonna come out well so sometimes you see around the nose you see the pores in there is not 
properly, uh, properly blended, do not feel the need to add more foundation to it. What I do most times, I take my fan, dry that area down. Sometimes it might be that the person is oily, very oily in that area or the person is sweating. So you need to dry that foundation down very well. Do not see the need to go over that area with so much foundation because at the end of the day what you're trying to avoid which is cakiness is still gonna come so after drying down just go back into that beauty sponge and tap that area lightly and that will cover up those pores but once you go back with another layer of foundation you just end up having a cakey foundation at the end of the day this is one layer for me and it's very very okay but what i do for instance i have some dark spots going on here so what i do is just to take a little of that foundation and tap it on that area i'm blending that area where i added that extra foundation i didn't go all over my face because i am okay with the layer of foundation that i have on already i feel that my skin is too yellowish so i added this uh, l'oreal true match foundation in w7 this has white undertone i'll be spraying this on my face I'm going to leave this to dry down a bit before I blend that fix spray into my skin. So I'm just tapping that product lightly. So I'm going to go into this concealer from Ferrarussi Cosmetics. I'll be using this small flat brush from Vicabel in NK9. So I'm going to go into this shade for the inner corner of my eyes. I'll be going into this area with this Yanga Beauty concealer in SMC3. So I want this area to look more brighter. That's the reason why I use that lighter shade from the Ferrarosi palette. While letting the concealer underneath my eyes to dry down, I'll be contouring my face. Guys, I'm going to be setting underneath my eyes using the Yanga Beauty Bluffet Setting Powder in Custard. So guys, I did not sculpt my nose, so I went back to finishing that. And then I'm going to blend underneath my eyes again because I'm seeing some creasing under there before I go into my setting powder. I'm taking that setting powder and I'm dusting off excess. So I'm just going to place it underneath my eyes. Go into that setting powder bit by bit. There's this thing I saw uh, Gross when hope that's his name on youtube here he took a paper towel and wrap around his beauty sponge and then he tap like there's a whole lot of foundation on this paper so towel. i'm going to set the whole of my face using my face powder i'll be using this powder palette from v beauty you must have known me by now with this palette i'm using the bianca and sweet honey so because of that paper towel that i use guys applying this uh, powder is a whole lot easier and smoother if i were to go in straight without using the paper towel i'll need to be very careful if not my foundation will move but that simple trick just did a whole lot that trick is cool i think i'm going to adopt that i use this powder from Maybelline Spaste in the shade 355 coconut to set my contoured areas so guys 
this is basically what I would do when it comes to applying my foundation, starting from my skincare foundation, blending, and the type of foundation to use for my skin. These key things are very, very necessary and very essential when it comes to you avoiding a cakey foundation or makeup altogether. So I'll be going off camera to complete the rest of my face and I will come back to show you the last tips and tricks. So guys, final and last tips. I'm going to be using this makeup fix to set the whole of my face. Next, what I do guys is to spray my, my beauty sponge with the setting mist and then I use that to pat my skin especially underneath my eyes to reduce that powdery look also going to make my makeup stay for a long time and as well prevent every form of cakiness so let me do a little recap on all of the things that i just said so first off do not do not joke with your skincare know your skin type so you know the kind of products you are supposed to apply on your skin to prevent any form of cakiness or any skin reaction take your time to blend your foundation so it sinks well into your skin and also when you're done blending spray your face let let it dry down before you go in with a beauty sponge again it will prevent any form of cakiness before you go in with any other thing last but not the least thing i want to say is setting spray so use setting spray that is suitable for your skin type this is the reason why you need to know what works for you so if you got any value out of this tutorial please don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up leave a comment below and also don't forget to subscribe right here and ring the bell beside it so you don't miss new videos thank you so much for watching stay tuned stay blessed and stay beautiful till i come your way next time bye guys